Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to Guns N' Roses Central and we got some Guns N' Roses news today. So it's sort of a follow-up story from the one I posted yesterday about Tommy Stinson. He did an interview with, a, with an outlet called The Observer and of course he's talking about Bash and Pop but of course the topic of Guns N' Roses always comes up and he reveals something interesting. He was asked if he misses, uh, you know, being in Guns N' Roses and he said, I miss the people a whole lot and obviously you miss the fans and stuff like that but where I'm at right now in my life that's just a whole thing that I'm not saying I'd never do it again, but I'm kind of glad I moved on from that. He then he said something really interesting. He said it it really was a lot, and it really and it really required sadly, uh, because of my circumstances with my ex-wife, to have to put a whole lot of crazy shit into play just to be able to do those tours towards the end because I had this young daughter. And I don't really he didn't really expand upon that, but maybe he was paying crazy months of alimony and he was sort of forced to play with Guns N' Roses and do those tours. He also continued by saying, I'm in a much better place. I've had some time to, to sort some shit out um, up here where my, traje where my trajectory right now is way more manageable for the bandwidth that I have for it. So if you guys want to see the entire interview, I've linked to it down below. And let's move on to our next piece of Guns N' Roses news. So uh, Kat Benzova, who is Guns N' Roses' uh, tour photographer, she's been with them the last five or six tours. She posted this on Instagram, basically gearing up and ready to hit the road again. As you guys know, Guns are going to be playing Japan starting this weekend. They're playing a number of shows throughout Japan uh, before finally you know, hitting Australia and New Zealand. And then we've also got some official Guns N' Roses merchandise showing up for their Japan show. So this is just a little screenshot. These are actually a couple screenshots of the kind of merchandising that's available. I really love the Silver Bullet shirts, just looking at some of the merchandise uh, that they have available. I'm always kind of hesitant to buy merchandising from, uh, you know, concerts because they're so overpriced. You can usually find them a lot cheaper on a website called rockabilia.com. Uh, you they, over there you can find them for like half the price and you can find a lot more merchandise dating back to like the old tours the, that the band was doing. Here's some more stuff. There's even some special stuff that just strictly like only for uh, fans in Japan. Like they have a cool like samurai sword shirt with the Guns N' Roses logo, which is another really cool one. I'm kind of surprised to see them selling leather jackets. I'd never really seen that before. And I'll tell you what, that might be a leather jacket I'd totally be willing to pick up. Unfortunately, I don't really know what the conversion is. But I'm guaranteeing that this, if it's uh, if it's anything a band selling and it's merchandise, it's not going to be cheap. There's some keychains. There's also some uh, wristbands you can get here too, and some posters. And I'm I'm sure there'll be lithographs available as well. So if you guys want to see all of the stuff that's available on the Guns N' Roses merchandise store, I've put the link down below for you guys to check out. That does it for today's news. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you tune to my channel tomorrow. I've got some more interesting stuff going up. And as always, guys, make sure you subscribe for the latest Guns N' Roses news. And be sure to follow me on Twitter at Guns N' Roses Daily. I will follow you back. So take care, guys, and have a good one.